In today's video, I shaved and we talk about muscle loss. Hey guys, what is going on? It's Paul from ProPhysique.com. Yes, it's me. It's really me. I just trimmed up the beard, shaved it off, got tired of looking at that old grizzly white hair for a little bit, so don't worry, I'll grow the beard back, but I wanted the fresh, fresh look. Feeling young again. Yeah, looks good. Anyway guys, uh, hope you guys are having a good day, a good Wednesday. And um, got a cool topic to talk about today. Yesterday's video uh, had a lot of fun and um, I figured since I'm moving and I'm packing and moving things around, I keep finding stuff. I think uh, as we get older, we begin to accumulate a lot of stuff. And uh, yesterday I found a German football jersey and today I found a Liverpool jersey, another gift. And so, yeah, let's keep the theme going. European football, uh, for all you Liverpool fans out there, go Liverpool. And for all of you Manchester, Chelsea, Man City, whoever, boo, just kidding. I hold no allegiance. I couldn't name one player in the entire league, to be fair, but I doubt if you're a fan of European soccer, you can name many major league baseball players. But I digress. Let's get to the topic at hand. Muscle loss. How does it happen? Now, the reason the topic is on my mind is because, as you know, I got sick, didn't feel well. Uh, I actually took a full week off of training because the last time I trained was Saturday at the Arnold with the, uh, the core nutritionals crew. Took the whole week getting sick. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the first day back in the gym was actually the following Tuesday. So like eight or nine days without resistance training and I started thinking, did I lose muscle? And I started researching and I found out I did not lose muscle. So what we're gonna talk about today is muscle loss, what we can expect, how fast it happens. But the group I wanna talk about is the group that's watching this video is most likely people that are intermediate to advanced trainees, meaning you've been training for more than a year consistently, nonstop training in the gym on a training program, right? So your body has allowed itself to adapt to that training stimulus. If you've been training for three weeks and you take a week off, don't expect what I'm saying to be true. What I'm going to talk about is for those of us, and I've been training in the gym for uh, 10 years straight with regards to like competitive bodybuilding stuff, but you know, I started weight training in high school and uh, let's just say it's been over 20 years that I have been making an effort to build muscle. So yes, I wanted to talk about muscle loss because it's been on my mind with not training and I get the question quite a bit because when we go through flu season, people don't train. When we go on vacations, people don't want to train. And when we're experiencing life, weddings, I just had two clients get married. You know, when we go on our honeymoon, when we go on our anniversary trips, we go on summer vacation with our kids, I think it's a good piece of knowledge to have to know uh, just how quickly we lose muscle so that we're not emotionally beating ourselves up and being worried about it, right? So when it comes to muscle loss, I had, a, uh, I had a phone call with my friend, Dr. Joe, this morning. And Dr. Joe and I are doing some cool stuff and uh, working on some projects. And it, it got to a point where I said, you know, Dr. Joe, I'm gonna do a video today on this topic and I want your opinion. And uh, Dr. Joe is a very smart man. And if you're not following his YouTube channel, I'll link it below. But Dr. Joe is basically like the forefather of all of this stuff that we do with the evidence-based approach to nutrition. and. Um, and so he's just got a really large base of knowledge. And I asked him, I said, 
how fast do we in fact lose muscle if we stop training? And his answer kind of surprised me. He told me we don't lose any muscle for three weeks. Three weeks, 21 days of not training at all and you lose no muscle, all right? So why, after one week of not training, did I feel like a bag of bones? Did I feel like when I picked up the dumbbells, they weighed a ton? Another good question, and here is the answer. Muscle is only part of the equation. The other part of the equation is the neural adaptation, the movement patterns. Those things, that detraining can happen a little bit quicker, but we haven't lost muscle mass. Muscle mass is very resilient. It's going to stick around, okay? But those movement patterns, those things that we ingrain, when we train, those things can dissipate a little bit quicker. So even though you might feel a little bit like Bambi after two weeks of not training, the muscle mass is still there. Well, Paul, I know what you're gonna say next. I noticed when I didn't train for a week, my muscle size had decreased. Well, I've got an answer for that too. Yes, in fact, muscle size might be decreased, but muscle mass is still there. Now, how is that possible? Well, when you don't train a muscle, you're not storing as much glycogen. And if you're not storing glycogen, as we all know, which is stored with water in the muscle, it's going to have less total mass. So technically you have less lean body mass, but you do not have less muscle. Did you hear what I said? You do not have less muscle. It's just not hydrated, basically. You're just not resistance training it. You're just not beating it up. It's not sore, it's not inflamed. It's actually probably healing and feeling better than it has in a long time. I'll tell you this, taking that eight, nine days off of training and going back to the gym, after about the second or third day, I felt rejuvenated. I feel refreshed, like all my joints, no more aching, my back, better, shoulder, better. All the things that I had just been constantly, constantly beating up over the last couple months and not really allowing them to recover, with intention, because I'm trying to put on muscle, they all felt better. That, that eight or nine days did me some wonder. So the purpose of this video is to just inform you that if you need to take a long weekend, three days, four days, five days, and not train, you are not going to lose any muscle. Okay, understand me, you're not losing any muscle. There may be some physiological changes that you notice. There may be some strength changes that you notice when you come back, but it's not due to loss of muscle. What we're seeing here are neurological adaptations, hydration to the muscle, things like this. But, you know, uh, I, I actually started looking things up after I got off the phone with Dr. Joe because I wanted to be sure. And man, I just found article after article after um, study after study that said the same exact thing. You don't really notice a change in loss of muscle until the fourth week. Fourth week of not resistance training. Now, I'm not talking about endurance not talking about sprint capacity, I'm only talking about lean muscle, body muscle, this muscle, okay? I'm only talking about that. There are some other things that occur if you stop training. You do become detrained, as they say, right? So power lifters, uh, you don't wanna stop squatting 10 days before your powerlifting meet because while you might not lose muscle, the neurological adaptations that you get, that skill that you get, putting that bar on your back and squatting and standing up, those things can become detrained a little bit quicker than muscle loss happens. So again, guys, it's a, it's a long journey. It's a long time. I've been training 20 something years and uh, I know you guys probably feel the same way I do on a day-to-day -day basis. We can kind of really get worried that we're losing muscle or that things are changing too fast or, you know, I missed a gym session this week. It's all over. I'm losing my gains. Well, trust that that's not true. Uh, I even had to remind myself of that and getting back to the gym after being off for those eight or nine days, uh, I was just reminded. And so I thought I'd share that with you because it's on my mind and I get so many questions uh, from clients about, you know, oh, I got sick, what should I do, you know. Get well, let your body recover, you're not losing muscle, we're going to keep right on trucking. Alright guys, that's it for me today. If you have any questions or comments below or feedback, I would love to hear it. I don't. I haven't been saying this much lately, but I still get you guys a discount on supplements. If you're interested in Core Nutritionals products, okay, 
Anytime you want to buy them, go to corenutritionals.com and use the code PAULR20. You get 20% off your order. Um, if you don't want to use Core Nutritionals products, no worries. I just figured I'd throw that out there. It's for you guys' benefit only. Have an awesome Wednesday, and I will talk to you tomorrow.